Harford Lakes today to show you a very, very simple rig, very, very effective rig. It's what's commonly referred to as a double bulk rig. Now, as the name implies, it's got two big bulks of shot. The first one is the main bulk. It's good 80 to 90% of the total float shotting capacity. Today, I'm using a gram float, so that's a 0.8 Olivet. If I was going with a smaller float, I'd just use bulks of number eights instead. But anything from, say, a 0.8 gram float upwards, I'll use an Olivet below that shot. And then the second bulk, the all important double bulk that gives this rig its name, is two or more often three number eights. Now that's the largest size of um, lead shot you're allowed. I'm sure a number six or a number four shot would be as effective but because these are lead, they're smaller, it's neater, and also gives you a bit of flexibility as well. You can move them up and down the line by splitting that into three number eights instead of a number four or a number six. Now that is the all important second bulk. And so that's all there is. I probably have got two foot, sometimes three foot, sometimes 18 inches, the main bulk away from the hook. And then the second bulk, it could be anything from four to about six to eight inches away from the hook. Depends on the depth for the float. Um, depth of the venue and how well the fish are feeding as well. Sometimes when they're feeding really, really well, or sometimes when they're feeding really, really finicky, I'll have that bulk even closer just so I can see the bites easier. And then business end today, I've got a bit of hair rig meat. I've also been fishing banded pellet, um, expander pellets as well. So I've been fishing all sorts, 16 hook. It's about 10 to 12 foot deep to, in front of me today. So and I could, I've been catching um, mostly skimmers, some nice hybrids, it's quite a lot of bonus carp and I've had a carp about 20 pounds today, which has given me a bit of a run around, but it's been a nice, nice bonus fish today. So because of that, I've got a nice, strong, robust 018 suplex line as well. So the, um, the only other thing I, worth showing everyone is the float. Now that is Adrenaline Carp 2. Now uh, the most important part about this, other than it's quite a long float, so it's nice and stable, um, is this tip it's a two-tone tip and i shot it so to just to that black band so the orange part is above the water and the great thing about a double bolt rig is you get lots and lots of lift bites in fact i'd say 90 percent of my fish today has been a lift rather than a go under so and sometimes because it's three number eight you sometimes see part of the blue body as well on the bite so you can't you can't mistake it but that yellow when that appears that's your lift, that's the indication to strike. A fish has dislodged that second bulk, swam up with the bait. Sometimes as well, even laying the rig in, because it's such a positive rig, your float won't settle. If it doesn't settle, any change to the norm, it should go down to their main bulk, and then whoop, once the second bulk cocks the float. Any change to that, if it goes like that, strike, and if it just goes whoop like that, strike. It's a really, really simple way to catch fish, especially for carp, tench, bream, all sorts of quality fish on the bottom and on the drop as well. So go out, give it a try. That float never settled, I reckon it got down about six foot. I can see the body of the float, it looks like a skimmer or a hybrid, it's had it on the drop. Absolutely perfect for this style of fishing. There's not a more positive way of fishing than a double bulk. Nice skimmer. There you are, proof of the pudding. Nice little skimmer on the double bulk rig. <laughs>